fork is 2 meters 50. Hi, I'm Eric St. Murray. I'm a PhD student at the University of Windsor, Ontario. We've got these awesome tags that we call biologgers, which are basically just electronic data loggers that record different types of activity, depth, temperature. Some of our tags are also equipped with cool sensors, like this one here has got a sonar built in, which will hopefully give us some idea of what the sharks are feeding on in the areas where we're tagging them. We attach it to the fin, similar to how we put the spot tags on, except this one here has a special kind of zip tie, which when this timer runs out, we'll sever the zip tie, allowing the package to flow back to the surface. Because they're recording at such a high sampling rate, we actually have to go and recover the tag in order to get the data off of it. And then we can find it using uh, the spot tag attached to the side here, which will give us a general location. And then after, once we get close, we've got this VHF uh, beacon here, which we can listen for on the boat. There we go. <laughs> yeah. We started analyzing some of the data from the tags we've put out over the last couple of years. Understanding how their behavior might change over time after you release an animal is really important because we want to know what their natural behavior is when we're thinking about what they're feeding on, how they're interacting with their environment and other animals in their environment. If that's being influenced by the tagging process, we want to know in order to be able to account for that in our analyses.